pretty impressive eating. Very impressive. Let's get back on track here. After you um, have the steel cage match where Johnny Rich and Scott Armstrong beat you guys, as we mentioned, Scott is going to team with the Rat Patrol to beat you, Arn Anderson, uh, of course, the Eliminator, and Tommy Gilbert. But then uh, the next time we're back in town, it's uh, September 17th. And now Mr. Olympia is going to defeat Arn Anderson. And they do that rematch a week later, again, in Birmingham, this time it's false count anywhere. Mr. Olympia beats Arn Anderson by DQ. I don't know how you have a DQ in a false count anywhere, but they did. What do you remember about, uh, the big dust up with Mr. Olympia? I mean, here you are once upon a time, super Olympia and, uh, then uh, eventually tag team partners. And now things are breaking down. Well, it sounds like to me, because we're skipping in and out here that, uh, this angle with Jerry has went full circle. It started out Mr. Olympia, super Olympia partners, adversaries, uh, back to partners as heels. Correct. Yeah. And now Jerry's back in the baby face role as Mr. Olympia again. Yes which is a hell of an evolution in that short amount of time, I would think. Uh, yeah. But in those days, Jerry would go in and, in and out without wearing that. You know, he'd wear the mask for a while, and then he'd be Jerry Stubbs, and they would talk about it. You know, and the guy just looked so good, and he was such a good performer, nobody cared. I mean, right. it was, wasn't, a, wasn't a big deal. Um, so we're back at it again, are we? You are, and you keep it going. Even on October 1st, uh, you're going to pick up a win over Mr. Olympia in Birmingham. Got it. We're going to keep the, uh, the story going here. Uh, as we march through the end of 1984, uh, it's another return match with Arn Anderson and Mr. Olympia on November 22nd, again in Birmingham, but now things are starting to heat up. We start to get into gimmick matches as we wind down the year, right around Thanksgiving, November 28th, 1984, it's mask versus loser leaves town, Mr. Olympia versus Arn Anderson. And you're on the losing effort. So he keeps his mask and you have to leave town, but somehow it doesn't happen. You're back on December 3rd in a taped fist match. Mr. Olympia is going to defeat Arn Anderson, but Arn's still not done. He's back a week later, December 10th, 1984. It's a stretcher match. And Arn Anderson finally beats Mr. Olympia. But we're still not done November 17th, or I'm sorry, December 17th. It's a four on three handicapped Texas tornado street fight with Bob Armstrong, Mr. Olympia and pork chop cash on one side, Arn Anderson, Jimmy golden, Lord humongous, and the assassin on the other side, boy, a lot of gimmick matches here, but a three on four handicapped Texas tornado street fight. Say that three times fast. <laughs> and, a, and a ton of big talent in here, you know, Bob Armstrong we've already <clears> talked <throat> about, we've talked about Jerry Stubbs, Mr. Olympia a lot. We just touched on a uh, pork chop cash. We've briefly referenced Jimmy golden before one of my dad's favorite wrestlers. We know later he's going to become bunkhouse buck, but the assassin Bob Owen out of Tuscaloosa. Let's talk about him for a minute. I don't, I don't Bob Owen. Bob 